One in eight Americans will suffer from depression in their lifetime. 18 million Americans currently suffer from depression. In Patty Fry's case, her depression was successfully treated for more than 10 years. Then her medication gradually seemed to stop working. Just basic day-to-day -day living was difficult, not wanting to get up, um, really isolating myself and not being involved in life. Um, my dogs, my animals, I'm passionate about, and I couldn't even get up and, you know, walk the dogs or, or interact much with the animals, which is what I do all, all the time, you know, when I'm feeling well. I've had times where I get to the point that I'm just, I'm not able to function. Um, so it, it gets into uh, nonstop crying, um, feeling hopeless. Um, and not being able to um, be involved with anything outside of home. So I think I get pretty reclusive too, and, and I know that that's not the way it should be. So that's an indicator to me to get help. It's not uncommon for antidepressants to lose their effect over time. According to Patty's treatment team, psychiatrist Thomas Gazda and nurse practitioner Kara Quaid, they studied her medical history and decided her depression might actually be connected to a nutritional deficiency in her brain of a compound known as L-methylfolate. It's as if in some patients the brain is malnourished. It, it just doesn't have enough of this chemical. And patients may be eating enough folate in their diet. You know, folate is a common supplement to foods and they might be even eating their vegetables. Although most of our, uh, our patients aren't probably eating as many vegetables as they should, but still, uh, some patients are, but they may be lacking an enzyme uh, that breaks down folate into the methylated form. And if they are lacking in that enzyme, then no matter how much folate they eat, they're just not gonna get enough of the methylated folate, which actually can cross into the brain and really help with this um, manufacturing of neurotransmitters that is so important to patients who are depressed. Dr. Gazda prescribed a medical food called Deplin, which Patty began taking in pill form every day. And I think it was within three or four days, I started to um, not feel so uh, like the, the weight of the world was on my shoulders or that I had this dark cloud encompassing me. Um, so I noticed fairly quickly. Clinical research seems to indicate that many factors like a patient's age and medical conditions like diabetes and body mass index could play roles in L-methylfolate deficiency in the brain, which in turn has been linked to depression in studies. 70% or so of patients who suffer from depression, we believe, are missing one of the enzymes that helps break down folate into the methylated form of folate. And you can't get folate into your brain unless it's methylated. It won't cross the blood-brain barrier. So it won't do your brain any good. It won't help you make the neurotransmitters that you, use, that you need, that is serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, unless it can cross into the blood-brain barrier. So uh, this is an exciting uh, idea uh, and um, to help patients with depression to use this medical food to help their malnourished brains, if you want to call it that. Deplin is not a drug. It is a medical food that is intended for the specific dietary management of major depressive disorder by providing the distinctive nutritional requirements of that disease or condition, based on recognized scientific principles and established by medical evaluation. Deplin must only be used under the supervision of a physician. Deplin is not indicated to be used alone, but instead it works in combination with existing antidepressant medications. People want something that's going to help them to be more healthy and eliminate side effects, eliminate drug-drug interactions. And I think it goes back to my first conversation about, about Deplin when I was with Kara. Um, my relationship with her was one in which I trusted her completely, and when she recommended trying it, I had no problem, um, you know, trying anything that she recommended, but I was fortunate enough that that was the thing that, you know, improved my life. I'm doing work that I love, and I'm, I'm able to enjoy it. I think that's the thing is that the, the capability to feel good or to enjoy life in general just wasn't there. So I'm actively involved, you know, with my friendships, um, 
with my animals and with work. So um, everything is as it should be right now. In Patty's case, Deplin is covered by her insurance like her other prescriptions. To learn more, go to Deplin.com.